Now that we've verified that you have all the pieces in the box for your Ares X10 and we've assembled the Ares X10 itself, let's look at the controller configuration and the transmitter, getting it ready to go itself. So it comes prepared to your Ares X10. You don't need to sync them together. It's already locked with the 2.4 gigahertz radio frequency between the two devices. On here, you have four AA batteries that are provided for you within the box. I've gone ahead and put them in the transmitter. And if you want to use the strap, you can attach it via the lanyard hole right here. Now use the bolt and the screwdriver provided with you to, ex or to attach the Wi-Fi extender to the transmitter itself. Then slide the mobile device mount onto the top of the transmitter, and you can place your smartphone inside of it. Remember again, while you're flying, don't let any obstructions become between your transmitter and your drone, or specifically your antenna and your drone, because it could go into fail-safe mode. Now let's look at the, some of the actual functionality on the transmitter itself. First thing, you'll notice the power switch at the bottom. It is very clearly labeled to slide it to off or slide it to the on position. In the middle right here, you'll notice three buttons, and these control your photo and video recording. So if you start with the far left button, the green circle, and you press that, that will start your drone's camera recording onto the SD card. If you go to the far right button, the red square, and press that, it will stop recording. In the middle is a photo button. If you press the button, it will take a photo. Now on the top, you may have noticed there are some indicator lights that tell you exactly what I'm doing. So if I'm recording in video mode, you will see the far right light blink, and if I stop, you can see that it stops. In the middle camera, and when I press it, you can see that it blinks, and that means it has taken a still within the drone. Now, you get all of that functionality of being able to start, stop recording, and take photos within the actual Wi-Fi app on your smartphone, but I recommend doing it off of the controller. The left control stick controls throttle, so altitude, and yaw, which means the direction the drone faces. So if you move your joystick, if you leave it right in the middle, your drone, while in flight, should hover. If you move it up, it will increase altitude, so go away from the ground. If you lower it down, it will go closer to the ground. If you move it to the right, it will rotate your drone clockwise. If you move it to the left, it will rotate the drone counterclockwise. On the right stick, it controls what is called your pitch and roll. Your pitch being if you move your stick up, it will tilt the drone forward towards the green indicator lights and fly forward. If you move the stick down, it will tilt the drone back towards the red indicator lights and fly backwards. Whereas if you tilt it to the left, it will tilt to the left and fly to the left. If you tilt it to the right, it'll tilt to the right and fly to the right. On the top, you'll notice some other controls. The S1 control, you want to leave in OK mode. The one in the S2 is for calibration, which is for both your sticks on the device and calibrating your Wi-Fi network between your Wi-Fi extender and your drone. And then there's S3. S3 is for your camera control. So if you move it into the up position, you will move the camera on the drone and tilt it up. If you move it into down position, you will tilt down the camera looking more directly at the ground while in flight. And then finally, the fourth S4 controller is for your flight modes. The first one is GPS mode. It means it's going to use all elements of stabilization within the drone. So if you're flying hard to the right and you let go of the stick into the middle like that, the drone will counteract and stop and hover in one position. If you put it in normal mode, that control is going to be taken away. So if you move far to the right and you're flying to the right and you let the stick return to the middle, the drone will continue flying to the right at the rate you last set it to until you move the stick to the left and manually counteract the directionality. Same goes if you're flying forward, you'd have to counteract it yourself to stop it by flying by moving the joystick down. In the next video, we're going to take a look at calibrating the compass on your Ares X10.